Hi, this is Larry with Larry's Bug Safari. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about raising praying mantis insects. I'll give you some tips, a couple tips that you won't see anywhere else. Uh, I've been doing this for six years, raising Chinese praying mantis insects. And so I'll give you all the tricks and tips in this video. If you find out you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you get additional videos as we uh, release them for the summer. All right, so let's get started. Say you found a praying mantis insect egg case and you want to have it hatch. Okay, let's be sure you've got the right thing and let's take a look at a couple examples. Okay, here we have four items on the table. Two are praying mantis egg cases. The other two are not. Uh, this item here, and by no means am I a, an expert on moths, but I believe this is a cocoon for a moth. Uh, it's very lightweight, nothing to it. It is not on a stick, okay? this is a gall. A gall is an abnormal growth on a plant stem or leaf. So these two are not praying mantis egg cases. Two on our left are praying mantis egg cases. Here's the face of a traditional Chinese praying mantis egg case. On a stick, see that stick's about, well, no bigger than a pencil. And you'll find that the stems and twigs and grass blades that Chinese praying mantises make egg cases on do not have hair they are smooth surfaces. So uh, our uh, traditional zinnias in some of our gardens won't have a Chinese egg case on them. So here we go. Uh, there you are. There's your traditional egg cases. So two egg cases that you may find on your uh, plants in your garden or out in the field. Now one of the things you want to do is if you bring an egg case home and you want to keep it safe, um, keep in mind birds will eat an egg case if they so desire. So when you find one, you're gonna run a rapid in screening or fencing, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, right here we've got two pieces of, a, this is a flexible fencing. Just, uh, you can use that. You can also use old window screening. Basically, I take a scrap piece of that and I wrap it around the egg case like so, tie it around there and put it in my garden or uh, in the bushes that you have, and that keeps the birds from eating it. And then as you approach to May 1st, then you want to start getting ready for your uh, praying mantis egg case to hatch. While you're waiting for that praying mantis egg case to hatch, what I recommend you do is go to the store and pick up some yogurt, maybe this Yo Crunch, or you can buy a Yo Play yogurt container. And uh, what they have are these nice hard lids. You can uh, put a fabric here at the top. You can also use a hot pin and put holes in the lid for this. I like to spray paint and make them green. Um, what you need is an old white t-shirt or fabric like this that you can cut. You can pick this up in the fabric store for a couple dollars a yard. Um, and all you need is a three or four inch piece of that. Pretzels or goldfish crackers or whatever you're fancy and bring that home and eat those. And then you can take this container and cut holes in the side. You can see here I've got this uh, mesh container. My pretzel container has this fabric and uh, what that does is allow me to cut a hole and prevent the nymphs or the flightless fruit flies that are its food from getting out once I get started. So that's one option. What you can also do is go to the deli and get some ham salad or potato salad and get yourself a container. Now this lid's just a little different but all you got to do is cut the top and you can use a hot glue gun and put this fabric in. You can also use an old white t-shirt that's laying around. Um, this one I've got prepared. Uh, I got a little paper towel on the bottom. I'll miss that when I get ready, but that's down later in the video. Here's a, uh, let's see, M&M's container. So those are the containers you want to have ready before your praying mantises hatch. Okay, so you've been to the store and you've picked up odd containers. Didn't cost anything other than doing your normal grocery shopping. You're gonna, around May 1st, you're gonna bring this container in, take your egg case, place it inside there, put the lid on, screw that lid on, and keep it in the shade. You may take it out of that container and just spray it with a spray bottle, something like this. That's it, just spray that and then place it back in your container. Now, it's about May 1st, you're gonna order flightless fruit flies off the internet, Drosophilia melanogastar, that's the uh, size of the fly. These flightless fruit flies, these fruit flies are bred with defective wings. So they're not gonna uh, just fly around when you take a lid off. 
and we'll give you more details as we go along. But you're going to order flightless fruit flies. It's going to cost you 10 or $12. You're going to do that around May 1st. That's going to arrive about a week later, and the fruit flies in that culture will stay for 30 to 40 days. You'll have a supply of flies for 30 or 40 days, probably give you a couple, two to 300 flies. You've got your containers ready. So now what you're going to do is you're going to watch this container every day. Sometime between mid-May and mid-June, you're going to have nymphs hatch out of the egg case. What you're going to do is you're going to decide how many you want. Let's just say you want 20. You're going to put 10 in individual containers like this and maybe 10 in this container. These, uh, the nymphs, one per container, will allow you to feed them and then to grow and they won't uh, have nothing to cannibalize. See, these praying mantises are predators. They'll cannibalize each other, so they don't have enough food, they'll eat each other. If you're really interested in it, you can go to Carolina Biological Supply and order these one inch vials with a foam top. They're very convenient. You can keep the fruit fly in there for a couple weeks. Um, and you've got a uh, foam top that goes right over there, so they got plenty of air. You can stick a little Q-tip in the side there if you'd like for moisture. I like to use a spray bottle. Um, so let's say you've got your praying mantises have hatched. You take 10 or 20 and you've got them in individual containers. Now, for the first hour or two, you can have three or four or five in one of these containers. So you don't have to have so many containers. Maybe you have five. Then take the other 10 and you're going to put them in here. But what do you do um, with all the praying mantises you have? Remember, anywhere from 25 to 300 praying mantises will come out of an egg case. So you've taken the 20 you want. You go to your garden or the field where you got your egg case from and you just remove the lid and you just dump out. Okay, so you have your praying mantises in your individual vials or cups. What you want to do is each day uh, squirt a little bit of water inside this container. When you spray into your vial or your yogurt cup, you don't want to be able to easily see the water droplets. Watch what I'm going to do. I spray above the container and the water droplets. Let's try spraying our vial and just to demonstrate how much to spray and how much not to spray. Spray over the vial and the droplets go inside. Now what happens is if you spray too much, the surface tension of the water droplets is so strong it'll hold these new nymphs right to the glass and they'll drown. Uh, too much water is this. That's too much water. Okay? All right, so that's your big tip. If you spray too much, you'll lose most of your praying mantises uh, to drowning on the side of the container. Your flightless fruit flies, you'll use those to uh, feed one or two flies a day. Um, after 9 to 14 days, the nymph will molt. And usually the praying mantis will stop eating the day before it's going to molt, a day or two before. Chinese praying mantises will molt seven times. So the first molt, you can get away with in here, but then after that 15th day or so, you're going to transfer them into a larger container like this. And you can even graduate up to a larger container. <laughs> you can even gradu up, graduate, you can even have them graduate up to a larger container. This is basically the same 32 ounce deli cup. Some folks like to put a uh, paper towel at the bottom. You spray that, it provides, uh, holds the moisture, and they'll literally drink any droplets off that water. They'll also take it off the side of the container. Okay, so for more tips on raising Chinese praying mantises, watch for another video. All right, so that's it. You've got your containers, you've got your egg case, you're all rest. All right, so this is Larry with Larry's Bug Safari signing off. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks and have a good day.